Today, I am showing you the best jump shot for every build and three-point rating. So whether you're a small guard, a spot-up lockdown, an ISO build, a popping big man, or even a tall footer build, I have a jump shot for you. I'm also going to give you a couple tips throughout the video because I am an insane shooter on NBA 2K24. I have 10 plus builds on 2K24 ranging from 78 three-point ratings all the way to a 94 three-point rating. And I can shoot at extremely high percentages on all of them. I mean, I've even been accused of cheating on this game because of how good of a shooter I am. And I'm not shooting against park bums. I'm playing in stage wagers, pro-am leagues with great defenders guarding me and still shooting at high percentages. So let's get into some gameplay with no cuts of me shooting on 2K24. And then we'll get into some quick shooting tips, bad is how to make your own jump shot and then all the jump shots that I'll be providing to you depending on your height or three point rating. Now we're gonna show three gameplays of my favorite jump shot I use, my main jump shot that a lot of y'all are probably asking for. And if you clicked on this video to find my jump shot, this is the jump shot I'm about to show y'all. Okay, so first two plays, we get a three. Next play, we get another three. And I'm part of the Rise affiliation that, what I think, starter one, you get heat check. Heat check basically boosts your shooting uh, rate of getting a green. It just makes it very easy to get a green when you have heat check activated after getting three greens in a row. So yeah, that's something to note. Join the <laughs> Rise affiliation if you want to get to starter one and get that heat check. But anyways, look at I'm just putting up three after three to the point where this dude gives up because he can't stop me from getting a three pointer. I mean, and this is like my first game on attempting to go seven for seven for this video to show y'all the jump shot and we got dudes giving up on guarding me i mean we just went seven for seven 21 points anyways this next gameplay this build i'm on has an 86 three-pointer the last gameplay i just showed was me with a 92 three-pointer and i'm using the same jump shot in both clips okay so this is in the 1v1 stage we were just in the theater so the difficulty as y'all know is a lot harder in stage and as y'all if you watch my channel at all you know i only play stage and pro-am mainly i don't really play any other game modes most of the time but anyways you see we get the jamal murray behind the back three-pointer we're not cutting anything out too we could easily just show a bunch of clips of me shooting heavilies and making them and not showing any misses and not any full gameplays right but no we're gonna be showing full gameplays right here because yes this jump shot is very consistent if you get the timing down and i'm also a very good shooter so the jump shots i am going to show you guys in this video you can trust me with them because yes they are good jump shots that you can shoot at high percentages with but i'm just trolling this dude i'm throwing it off the backboard i'm getting a layup and dunk every once in a while unlike last game where i only shot three pointers but when i am shooting a three in this gameplay i'm not missing look at this dude's lost i get the easy dunk meter now we're up 14 to zero and i've yet to miss a shot and now i'm in sharp shooting takeover and you see i got the fireball because i'm on a little win streak i'm on a 15 game win streak at this point jamal murray behind the back that's green if i'm open i'm not missing simple as that now we're in heat check it's it's easy little back fade from the right wing oh <laughs> nah the back fades are always fire when you green them but 20 to zero in takeover this dude doesn't know what to do i force a layup and i miss that right there but we get a quick little pluck steal turns into a green three and that's another 23-0 once again not missing from three point range okay moving on to the next gameplay i'm showing this is the same build it has a 95 midi and an 86 three-pointer we take a midi to start this twos game easy green we get back into the isolation this dude's kind of leaving me but i dot my teammate in the corner and he knocks down the mid-range shot then going to the next play we're gonna catch the ball on the left wing we're icing again get a little ankle breaker go to the basket easy scooper layup so yeah once again unlike the first game play we're not shooting a three every single play i'm just showing y'all a random stage game that i played where we're going crazy with the jump shot look at oh my god he's saucing him up that's another easy green and now i'm in heat check when i'm in heat check oh my i can really shoot just about anything with or without takeover if i have heat check but look at oh snatch back three oh my. <laughs> nah that was beautiful 12 to 0 still haven't missed a shot this game now we're in takeover it's not looking good i'm literally playing around with these dudes they're in game chat trying to guard me going over to the right speed boost green and that was contested and we still got it to go 15 to 0 by the way if you want to see any other gameplay of me shooting with jump shots i have plenty of good gameplays on the channel whether it's in pro-am or stage but i'm just showing y'all three random games right here so 17 to 0 still haven't missed a shot i'm in sharp shooting takeover he's literally giving me the drive he's like only guarding my three-pointer at this point or my shot at this point so i end up attacking the basket and he actually bumps me out of bounds so they get a stop but eventually 
after they score a couple buckets they were getting some shots of getting some good shots so we gotta stop i'm in takeover look at, i have one adrenaline bar low energy it's gonna be hard to hit a shot with low energy right i'll do a mid fadeaway midi and we get it to go and that's kobe bryant fadeaway if y'all didn't already know i'm gonna show the fadeaways that i like to use depending on what build i'm on look at oh from that deep with the heat check of the sharp take that's easy we go eight for eight four for four from three literally three game plays right there of me not missing a shot but before we get into this jump shot and the rest of the jump shots let me give y'all a couple different tips so hopefully you can improve your shooting now the first thing they should know is jump shot boost is a big factor if you have the vc make sure you're buying jump shot boost you will shoot much better not only that also buy gatorade boost if you're gonna buy one buy the yellow one uh obviously if you have more energy by the time you shoot the ball you're gonna be more likely to make the shot not only that you want to make sure you're getting some badges you can go to the sunset beach on the top left of the map to grind some of these badges and play disco but yes yeah, shooting badges are gonna be important and also try to get a takeover perk whether that's accelerator or sponge obviously the faster you get takeover the easier it's gonna be able to shoot okay make sure you're spinning your wheel every day because hey who knows maybe you get some gatorade or some jump shot boost or some vc to buy some boost or whatever okay that's definitely helpful another thing you want to go find this art of shooting drill and every monday your hot zones reset to where you can get two lethal hot spots and lethal hot spots make it way easier to green in those hot zones so you want to talk to lethal shooter do this drill once a week pick a zone that's already red that you shoot a lot from so i picked the top of the key in the left wing make sure you do this drill like well make sure you're greening your shots or else you, if you fail the drill you have to wait a week until you get your lethals and if you're about to fail it just dashboard quit close your app whatever and reload and try the drill again it's very easy this drill is on like rookie so if you're mistiming your shot on this then you're not even close to timing your shot because if you even get close to timing it correctly it just gives you a green it's literally on rookie you're gonna see me literally not miss a single shot in this little shoot around so from the left wing we go 10 for 10 so we're gonna get our lethal zone from right there and now on the top of the key i'm gonna try to green all 10 of these and yes spoiler alert i'm gonna green all 10 of them because it's literally on rookie but yeah these two lethal zones are they're gonna turn into like purple Purple hot zones and the purple hot zones oh my god that you're gonna shoot way better you know if you shoot a lot from the top of the key put it there if you shoot well in the mid range put it there but make sure you put it at a spot that's already red because if you don't do that then the spot will turn from neutral so no color to red so you want to choose a red one so it goes from red to purple because the purple hot zones are the ones that are really overpowered and the ones that you want so right here you see i get the purple on the top of the key and the left wing so make sure you do that every monday it resets once a week okay that's where the lethal gym is there on the map now places you want to practice your jump shot the gator facility is a solid option okay also the stage if you want to just go on a court with that no one's using and dribble around and shoot or any park court that's not being used you can do that or you can use one of like the garage hoop cores, those little 1v1 cores that are hidden around the map like this one right here. Those are solid places to practice. Another thing, controller settings are huge. Make sure you have your meter off, you get a 20% green boost. Uh, same with the layup meter, that works as well. And if you want to know anything about this visual cue, I have a whole video on it that explains it in very good depth. I don't wanna explain it again in this video because I explained it so well in that video, but I use push. If you guys are wondering what I use, I use push unless i'm on a very small guard i use release but release and push are the best ones to use and if you guys want to know what fadeaway i use i use pro 2. now if you want to do midi fades i would suggest kobe bryant kobe bryant's the best one for midi fades but fades from like the three back fades pro 2 is probably the best one to go to and then that leads me to my jump shot the jump shot that i use on my iso builds and literally 90 percent of my builds is this jump shot right here base t mac release one is going to be oscar release to sadiq bay 60 40. now if you want to make your own jump shot just the base is the most important thing that's what's really going to affect how good the jump shot is the releases are just a visual thing so the releases could literally be Shaq or kobe or whatever it's not going to affect whether that jump shot greens more or less it's just going to visually affect your jump shot so i always use oscar and sadiq if i can depending on the height of my build no matter what because those are the two releases that combine together that give me the confidence to shoot because it's very visually appealing to me in my opinion making it easier for me to time the jump shot because using those two releases makes it obvious to know when to release my button to shoot a green so anyways let's get into all the jump shots that i suggest besides this one because this is my main jump shot right here all right starting with old players that are five seven to six four in that height range 
I'm going to give you all a bunch of bases really quick, but if you are to use releases, the releases I would use on any of these jump shots is literally just Oscar, Oscar 50, 50. So Oscar Robertson, you can plug in whatever releases you want, but those are the ones that I would prefer no matter what the base is. So the first base I'm going to talk about is Patty Mills. This is by far the best base in the entire game. You have to have at least an 84 three pointer or mid range to get this. And you also have to be a starter three. So if you're not a starter three, you can't get this jump shot, unfortunately, but this is the best jump shot in the game. It's very uncontested the best players in the game use this that are five seven to six four it is a very overpowered jump shot i would say no matter what jump shot you like in this video if you can get this jump shot put it on and try to get used to it because it is very effective the next base i would suggest is stephen curry oscar oscar stephen curry you need a 92 three-pointer or mid-range four and this jump shot has always been good year after year very easily timeable very visually appealing and it just gets a lot of grains the third base i suggest is jay sean tate now you only need a 74 mid-range or three-pointer for this base and for the fourth jump shot i would suggest for five seven to six four is alan iverson alan iverson i've never really heard of this jump shot until this year i feel like no one's ever used alan iverson base but this year it's actually really good so yeah alan iverson oscar oscar you need at least an 85 mid-range or three-pointer for this jump shot and then the last base i'm going to suggest for five sevens the six fours is actually going to be john wall john wall is super easy to time this year you only need an 82 three-pointer or 82 mid-range for john wall so yeah john wall oscar oscar and yes i put the releases oscar oscar for all of them because that's the one that i prefer you can plug in any releases you want all that really matters is the bases so yeah those are the top five bases for five seven to six four really in that exact order as well in my opinion now moving on to the next height range we have six five to six nine now for all of these jump shots i'm about to suggest for the six five to six nine range the releases i would use is 60 percent oscar robertson and 40 percent sadiq bay that is my personal releases that i suggest and that i use for all of these heights no matter what the base is but once again you can plug in whatever releases that you like or that you think are visually appealing so you can time it easier and get more greens but anyways we're gonna start with the first base and that is tracy mcgrady tracy mcgrady's oscar sadiq is my main jump shot the one i showed earlier and yes you need an 87 three-pointer or mid-range for this jump shot the second one i would suggest for this height range is torian prince base and all you need is an 81 three-pointer or mid-range for this jump shot and this is the jump shot i used in the beginning of the year on my 6 8 iso boot with a 94 dunk and that building had a 78 three-pointer and as i know i was sparking but depending on what releases you use you can actually get it for cheaper because i had a build that only had a 78 three and i actually unlocked torian prince so you can get it for i think like a 78 or 77 three so yeah check to see if you can get torian prince on your build because it is very good the third base i would suggest is ben shepherd ben shepherd is a very good base for popper builds for lockdown spot ups or even iso builds all of these it basically if you're just in this height range ben shepherd is really good honestly i might suggest that over torian prince base ben shepherd is super good i use that on my big man i've also used that on some of my iso builds then the fourth jump shot i would suggest is jared culver you only need a 74 three-pointer or mid-range for this jump shot and if you like tracy mcgrady base but you can't get it because you don't have an 87 three or mid-range jared culver is the perfect substitute because it looks just like it and it's also a very good jump shot and easy to time now the fifth one for six five to six nines base dyson daniels a lot of centers were using this earlier in the year and it's still a very viable and good jump shot so dyson daniels you all you need is a 77 three-pointer or mid-range for that one and then the second to last jump shot for six five the six nines that i would suggest base jt thor all you need is a 76 three-pointer or mid-range i was actually using this base in the beginning of the year before i found out about tracy mcgrady ben shepherd and torian prince but if for whatever reason you don't like those other bases jt thor is one to definitely test out and the last base i'm going to suggest for six five the six nines if you don't like any of the other bases then maybe you can test out this one on yekka okongu base all you need is a 77 three-pointer or mid-range and this one is not too bad either and those are by far the best jump shots for six five to six nine definitely a longer list compared to the other ones but that's because there's so many good bases for this height range now lastly for my six ten plus centers i know there's a lot of y'all out there now for the releases that i'm going to suggest for all of these bases is going to be 60 percent charles bassey and 40 percent marquise chris now if there are some other releases that you want to plug in there that you are more comfortable with 
then go ahead and do so. But those are the two that I would suggest. Now for the first base, I'm going to suggest for my 6'10 and over my players is going to be Chris Bosch. Now you need an 85 three or mid range to get this base. Not only that, you need to be starter three or higher. So a lot of y'all probably don't unlock this base, but if you do make sure to put on Chris Bosch, cause it is absolute money for my big man out there. Now the second base I suggest, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but Eric Haskell, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but you need an 83 pointer or mid range. In my opinion, this one's actually better than Chris Bosch. This is my favorite base for 6'10 and up centers. It is very hard to contest and very easy to time. I would compare this to like the Tracy McGrady base of the 6'10 plus builds. And the last base I'm going to suggest for my 6'10 plus builds, yeah, there's not a lot of good bases at this height in my opinion, is gonna be Jonathan Isaac. Jonathan Isaac is a very good base for 610 and up easy to time now after suggesting all of those bases from all the height ranges i'm just gonna throw up a list of a bunch of releases that you can test if you don't like the releases that i suggested so whatever base you end up liking and you're not liking the releases i suggested so 610 and up you didn't like the bassy marquis chris combination or 65 to 69 you didn't like my oscar sadiq bay combination or maybe 57 to 64 you didn't like the oscar oscar combination these are some other releases that you could you know try to cook up something with that are very good for trying to time a jump shot and making it easy and very noticeable to win the let go of your button to green your shot now if there's a jump shot that i didn't mention in this video that you found that is a very good jump shot go ahead and comment it down below but if this video helped you out at all make sure to drop a like hit that subscribe button for your boy and once again if you're still having trouble shooting trust me it's not the jump shot because if you're testing these jump shots i shot in the video and you're still not shooting good it's the stick skill and don't worry i got you this how to shoot video on the screen will help you tremendously with getting better at shooting in 2k24 go check it out and if you have any other questions catch me live on twitch double h maybe i'm live and i can answer a question in the chat but anyways it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace